Uh, you already know. To catch a predator, you feel me? Um, Before we get into the video, I just got done recording Back for Blood. Now, if you guys don't know what Back for Blood is, look it up. I'm not going to explain it right now because I explained it in the video that I just recorded. Um, That's going to be up. It was going to be up today, but I said, fuck it. My power literally has been out for two hours now, and hopefully I can get this video out right now before hopefully it doesn't go back out. Tomorrow's your boy's birthday. Uh, so last year, I didn't um, post anything about my birthday or do anything on YouTube, but this year, yes, sir, we're celebrating on YouTube. So tomorrow, I'm going to upload a video. Um, it's not going to be a gameplay because I'm not finna be doing anything gaming-wise tomorrow, probably. I'm going to be doing my thing, turning 24 years old. Shit is crazy. Um, but yeah, wish me a happy birthday in the comment section. And without further ado, let's get into this video. Nice house and guess who's home? Would you have a seat right there, please? Suspected predators in for the unexpected. They don't got no captions. They don't got no captions, y'all. Hey, so fuck it. Other young boys on the internet. From the church worker who fell from grace. My entire life. I'm not going to lie. No, I'm not trying to hear none of this. To catch a predator. Here we go. They're in trouble with the law before they're even at the door. Good evening and welcome to Dateline. I'm Stone Phillips. And I'm Ann Curry. Tonight, we're back in Texas, where police arrested 24 suspected predators and tried to arrest one more suspect who never set foot in our undercover. Where's Chris? Why am I watching this? Where's Chris? That's all I'm, that's all I'm here for. You niggas house. is talking way too Instead, much. Officers went to his house, and there, events took a startling and tragic turn. As always, we want to warn you that some of what you're about to see and hear is explicit. Chris Hansen has our investigation. There we go. Oh, Damn. Yeah, we got a lot of guys do right around now. This is hard. For our latest investigation into online sexual predators, we've come to Murphy, Texas, a bedroom community outside of Dallas. After two days, we're starting to see a trend. Men who make the trip, Murphy, but then Texas, seem reluctant to actually come inside our undercover house. He's had enough. He's had enough. Watch this man. Online, he made a date with a girl posing as a 14-year-old. Come on, come in. I have drinks. We have soda and some Halloween candy. <laughs> <laughs> but he appears to get spooked. Okay, hold on. Give me 10 minutes, okay? okay. It happens again. Give me 10 minutes. And again. Man, bro, what the fuck is wrong with y'all niggas, boy? Y'all niggas is crazy. Where are you going? What's wrong? You want to park in the driveway? It's open. Some hey, what is this? Like, do compilation video? I'm not trying to watch no compilation. But don't stick around for long. Like, oh, bro, yeah. get on to it. When the communication was... Or what? During this operation, about 35 PJ members, some in the under... This is 23-year-old Christopher Cosby. Okay, here we go. Yo, I had to skip literally half the video for me to get to the fucking part we came for. Holy South fuck. C, 1983, he starts you know what? That shit made me not even want to watch this video no more. Next. Some brought candy, some brought condoms, but one man. Like, that shit just, I have been recording, oh my god. We thought we... I believe she's 18. 18? Mm-hmm. And what made you think she was 18? I found a new fucking video. Holy shit. This is a, this is like a uncut 
This is like an uncut video, I guess. I don't really know what uncut. Like, I guess it's like raw footage, maybe. Not too edited, like how the show would be. So, yeah. You there? I'm going to go up and get ready, okay? Okay. Wait at the bar for like five minutes and then follow me up, okay? Okay. Okay. Do me a favor and uh, just have a sheet right over there on the other side of the bar. <laughs> Nigga didn't even let him talk or nothing. He said, "Let me just How's it going? let me just pop out right Mark, now." Mark, okay. Look how Buddy came in. Came in so fucking comfortable. I'm so I hate. I will never go into somebody's house, especially that I don't know. Get all comfortable. Like this nigga was about to take his jacket off. Pop a squat. This was this was probably back in the day. So they probably didn't have cell phones, but he was definitely going chill. Probably find something at the bar, drink it, wait for it to come down, or go up, whatever. Nothing really. Nothing really. Mm-mm. Cap. You come here to me. Some girl. Cap. Some girl or, no, that's not Cap. You can't even remember her name. It's Amanda, I believe. Amanda? Sadie, maybe? I thought it was Amanda. Yeah. And how old is this girl you came here to meet? I believe she's 18. Stop. 18? Mm-hmm. Stop. Do you think she was 18? They always got a lie, bro, to get themselves out of it. I'm telling you, that's just tragic. That's what I thought. That's not what she told you, is it? I don't know. Well, you can say that. Okay. But I have the transcript of the conversation. Okay. And right up top, she says she's 15. Okay. How old are you? 21. 21. 21. And why did you think it was appropriate or legal to come here to meet a 15-year-old girl home alone? I don't know. You don't know? No. You got to have a better answer than that. Bro, we're only two minutes into this weak-ass video, and I'm sick. Sick. And I'm mad because I couldn't, I couldn't find a regular fucking version, bro. Gotta watch the uncut version. That shit got me sick. I didn't think she was 15. But that's not what it says here in the transcript of the chat. I read the whole thing, so you might as well just tell me. I don't know. I really don't know. I thought she was 18. What's that say right there? 15. 15. Yes, sir. 15. Nigga. You dummy. He know what the fuck it said, bro. You don't, isn't that a little convenient that all of a sudden you're sitting here talking to me and you don't remember? No, it happened probably last night. A whole 24 hours ago. So? A lifetime. Where did you come from tonight? Lebanon. I'm sorry? Lebanon. Say it again? Lebanon. And where is that? Cincy. In Cincinnati. Nigga, say Cincinnati. Why would he say Cincy? You're a grown ass man. How far did you drive? I don't know, maybe an hour. An hour. And what's your name? Jeff. Jeff, what's your last name? Stacy. Stacy. And what do you do for a living, Jeff? Work at a deli. You work at a deli. And do you often chat with underage girls online? Oh. Cap. Mm -mm. So this is your first time? Mm Mm-hmm. You know, I hear that a lot. I would say, yeah, you probably do, but this is. This is what? This is the first time I've ever met anybody offline. Why you sound like that? Are you scared? Now, it seems like you're having Obviously. some memory trouble tonight, so I'm going to remind you of some of the things you said in the conversation. You ask her if she's a virgin. I ask everybody all kinds of stuff. It's just talk. Do you sleep naked? Man. Asking questions. Well, some of the questions are pretty graphic. This dude is capping out his ass right now, bro. I swear to you God. You gonna be naked when I show up? You gonna be naked when I show up? 
leg spread and I will blank you right away. Leg spread. Oh. Okay. So I said that stuff. Then you say, oh, you're not a cop, are you? Why did you ask if she was a cop? Because I had people who were drunk friends, and they say that if you ask that, that they have to tell you. You have people who are what? I used to have friends that were druggies, and that's what they said. Druggies. Speak, nigga! So the druggies told you that if you ask over the internet if they're police, they have to tell you. Yeah. So that's what you did. Mm -hmm. And why were you worried that it might have been a police officer? This dude's a fucking bum. That's what it is. He's a fucking bum. That shit gets me so sick. Oh, what's going on? Bro, I swear to God, I ain't never in my life, bro, dealt with no nigga that was a predator, bro. Never. N my niggas make jokes around me. Niggas, uh, I don't know. The darkest humor. I heard the darkest humor on the planet, bro, but never. Nothing like this. And you know... One thing I noticed about these predators, they never have friends, bro. Never have, you feel me, uh, even acquaintances. Like, they literally always loners. Talking about, oh, I never really had friends when I was growing up. Shut your bitch ass up. Anyway, let me chill, bro. Let me chill. I ask everybody. Just out of habit? Yeah. Well, doesn't it indicate that you're worried that if it was a police officer, you would get in trouble for what you were doing? No, because I asked that to everybody. To everybody. So you spend your time on the internet at night asking people whether or not they're cops, whether or not they sleep naked, whether or not you can perform yeah. sex acts on them. Mm -hmm. You do this all the time. It's talking. It's talking. Not, it's yeah, but the difference tonight, Jeff, is that you went from talking to showing up at this house where you thought a, a teenage girl was home alone. An underage girl. I didn't know. You didn't know what? That she was underage. Do you want to go through the exercise again where we talk about what age? Thank you, bro. No, because I don't you're, remember. You're bullshitting, bro. You was just texting her last night. And he's really trying so hard to tell this dude that he don't remember. That's really crazy no, to me. I don't remember seeing the age. Then why were you so worried about whether or not this was a police setup? Because I asked that to everyone. I'm tired of hearing his voice. I'm not going to lie. I'm super tired of hearing his voice. You ask her if she's horny. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? You ask if she does anal. It's a question. I know, but you're It's a question. To identify themselves as an underage girl. And in this state, depending on the circumstances, that is against the law. Do you get that? It's against the law to say it on there. It's against the law to say yes, bro. That's not what I, if that's what it was, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Bro. You also sent this picture. You know. Okay. Yes, I know. That's you. And then you sent these pictures, too. Yeah. Who are they? What's all that? Just phony pictures. Just phony pictures. Well, how come you cut the heads off? I didn't. I just found him. That this way. same angle is weak, bro. You know, like I'm, I'm, I'm done with it, bro. I'm done with it. <laughs> that ass. If you guys enjoyed that video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Don't be no predator, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.